farmers i'm back at it again um it's been over six seven months since i started doing goats i've started again i started first by purchasing as you can see this um boar goat and um, it's an f1 um male buck um this is um boar goat cross breed um and over there you have the one in brown that is a local they, that's our local breed and the one uh, which is whitish is a uh, um, what is known as an improved breed of local so it's a sanya and something else but they're known as um, improved breeds so as you can see i started off with three females and one buck and the two females are already big so this is most likely a chance for me to go and look for a new buck another buck which is a local buck which i will then be using so just wanted to show you that i'm at it again and planning to grow the herd so they said don't wait till you have a lot of money use the money that you have to buy the goats that you have so the buck was very expensive for me but it is worthwhile because it means that i've got an improved buck but the nice thing about also this buck it's already grass fed and it's already used to local conditions so i'm not afraid about it already um, grazing on the land without me having to feed it yes i'll supplement it with time but it's not that's one thing that will not deter it from sicknesses because it's local it's already got the genes of running in the wild without having to survive on 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 special food but i will supplement it in time so in the past with this also came a lot of new things that we decided to do um the new decision we have to done is this was always the goat pen um which we had stopped using um after going to someone else's farm which probably i'll put the video here on i got inspired into trying to do something different but um for starters this is the pen for now which will be modified in time in the next few i can say the next two two months would have modified the, this pen so that it becomes more of what we want to do um this is what we have been doing in the past day two days so far we have fenced we have put up a new fencing and it's not yet complete and the reason why it hasn't been completed was because of the gate which had um, issues i can't say issues but uh, we we did not and we bought poles and the drill bits that we thought we were going to use to make the holes did not work so we had to wait get so we had to go somewhere to get it welded a place where there's a person who's got a welding machine so we have now placed the gate today so this means that this section today cannot be fenced off until probably tomorrow that is when we would have fenced it and then we will clear inside everything that is inside um get it ready and we will then use this as our goat pen um what has just changed is that once i will get the these structures that you can see in front so the first one is that this small little metal shade we will remove that and put properly the position where we want to do everything but this is now going to be the new goat pen uh, my target is like probably by year end to be at at least 30 goats um at least 30 females and then we will take it from there then our next year's goal will probably now be to get to 100 so first goals first um i'm starting small got no problem right now i've got four um most likely by the end of today there'll be five and after that every probably every month we'll be buying five locals or if I get a hybrid or someone who where I can find good quality goats, I'm actually looking for a, for savanna goats, 
and then I will also get the savanna goats in and most likely um, right now my whole hope is getting Kalahari um, brown buck that is my other option if I cannot get what I'm looking for so they say it starts more never be worried about how how many goats you start off with um, right now there's a lot of grass for them to graze on and currently yes they are tied up so that they get used to the surrounding so that they do not disappear so that is why they've been tied to around the, um, the leg so that they can graze close by and then with time they'll be given the freedom to to move around so this is the goat pen as you have seen nothing really um there's not much we have really done to it but the only thing i can say is that we've bought fence so that we can have more ground for them to play around in and for them to have a lot of ventilation ventilation is very important and um, this structure that will be built there is not really the correct kind of ventilation that is needed but it was done on the hope that we were trying to do something different and yes it, it worked but it also caused a lot of problems so at the present moment because we did not have this play area the play area which we had was very small and on top of that they used to jump out so this time we have actually gone and made the play area very big and we are now going to be using this as an opportunity to do other things thank you very much for watching keep on subscribing and liking the channel thank you very much